Please subscribe to my channel. Audio novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Credits goes to the author of the novel. I convert stories to audio book for mental health, for multitasking purpose, for accessibility and time saving. Listening to audio book is also beneficial for people who have disability. It improves our listening skills and improve our English comprehension, vocabulary and other things. So, thank you for listening. Thank you and thank you very much for your support. Chapter 451, Participation. The city leader's residence was extremely spacious. There were many constructs within, taking up a circular area of 1000 li. The black-robed receiver took Liu Feng and the group of twelve through a pathway that was about 60 meters wide and 120 meters tall. The sides of that pathway had huge bronze doors, every one of them were 160 meters long and 120 meters tall and each of them had ancient words on them. Muzu, Qjax, Dragon Age. Before each door stood a kind-looking old man. The peculiar thing was. The old man standing before each door all looked exactly similar. There are a total of 52 doors here, each of them leading to one of the 52 primal chaos tablet rooms. The black robed receiver smiled, ahead is the nine universe tablet training room entrance. Oh, we've arrived. Liu Feng looked at the huge bronze door. The bronze door that had been here for over a hundred million years had two universe language words on it. Nine doors, at 120 tall, it made one able to help but look up to see it in its entirety. Beside the door stood an old man with a vertical eye on his forehead, similar in appearance to all the other old men. Lord Candley. The black-robed receiver bowed. The three-eyed old man smiled and looked at Liu Feng and the group, a new group of punks from the Virtual Universe Company? Yes. The black-robed receiver was incomparably respectful, following which he turned and looked at the group, this is Lord Candley, the guardian of the Primal Chaos tablet training rooms. Before each of the 52 tablet doors dot they are all clones that Lord Candley has conjured. He has been guarding the 52 doors for over a million years, he's the most respected warrior in Primal Chaos City. Hwa! The group of youths were shocked as they looked at this ordinary kind looking three eyed old man. They were surprised to find out that it was actually one person guarding all 52 doors. As one of the three treasures of Primal Chaos City, the importance of these 52 tablets were inconceivable. Allowing one person to conjure 52 clones to watch over them, just how strong was this person? And he had been guarding them for over a million eras. As for the master of the Yunmo planet Hu Yanbo, he had only been living for over 6000 eras. Lord Candlei. Luo Feng and the group bowed respectfully. He he, they are really young, looking at you is akin to looking to the future hope of humanity. Candlei smiled and nodded. Wait a moment, the group inside are coming out momentarily. Yes. Luo Feng and the group obediently complied. Incredible. Primal Chaos City is indeed the sacred training land of humanity. The strong are like clouds, powerful beyond reason. In an instant we met a guardian that has been watching over the rooms for over a million years, an old monster. Babata shouted shocked. Your teacher was stronger than you and he had lived longer too. However the amount of strong warriors he's met pales in comparison to you. The difference in the circles you travel in, really depicts the people you meet. The master of the Yunmo planet was after all a lone warrior. Him meeting even one universe country leader was a rare occurrence. Even though Liu Feng was weak, however he had entered the core of the virtual universe company. Hence. Getting the opportunity to interact with the pinnacle of the human race and other unbelievable beings was not a surprise at all. Lord Candley, Lord Candley. A shout resounded. Shwa. With a gold band on his head and boots on his feet, an ape youth emitting a strong aura suddenly appeared at the entrance of the bronze door. He immediately bowed respectfully at Lord Candley, and looking at Liu Feng's group, 
He smiled from his eyes, Lord Candley, looks like my timing was just right. I'll be able to enter with them to participate. If I was a bit slower, I'd have to wait another seven days. Ah, you've broken through? Candley smiled as he looked at the ape youth. Right, I've successfully passed the sixth level, thereby getting another seven days to view and study the tablet. The ape youth said. Candley closed his eyes for a couple of seconds and opened after, nodding, you've indeed received another seven days to study the tablet. Addition? In the group beside, Liu Feng thought, when you first enter Primal Chaos City, one can receive seven days to study the tablet. And from the looks of it dot it seems like fulfilling a condition, or passing some test, one can get another chance. How does one actually receive another chance to study the tablet? Liu Feng and the group still didn't know. However they believed they would learn about it soon, after all they were going to stay in Primal Chaos City for 30 years. They quietly waited. After about 5 to 6 minutes, rumble. The entire bronze door opened gradually. The chaos energy leaked out from within, making it impossible to see clearly within. Come out. Candley looked inside and roared softly. His voice resounded continuously within the training room. Very quickly, human silhouettes began to emerge from the chaos energy flow, and many seemed to be covering their ears with their hands. There was one tall and sturdy youth with six eyes on his forehead. He seemed reluctant as he turned back to take one last look, however he still left in the end. You thirteen, you can enter now. Candley looked at the group before them, after seven days, the door will open and you will exit immediately, understood? Understood. The group nodded. Okay. Candley nodded, go in. The group immediately entered one after another, filled with anticipation and nervousness. The training room was extremely huge and the chaos energy revolved within. Liu Feng carefully surveyed the area, looking at the chaos energy revolve about a huge stone tablet, that's the Nine Universe tablet. Liu Feng felt both anticipation as well as nervousness. The other eleven youths too were similar, only that Ape Youth was very familiar with the insides of the training room as he began his study immediately. Drawing close to the primal chaos tablet, only then could one see it clearly. This was a 100 meters tall, 100 meters wide primal chaos tablet. On it were nine pictures and at the sides of the tablet were universe language words. Nine universe. Every picture was similar to the pictures on the walls they had seen before. However the feeling it gave off was obviously different. From the earlier viewing of the pictures of the Nine Universe before, they already knew how it looked. The first picture was that of a drizzle of rain. However on careful examination, one would realize there were only nine drops of rain. The second picture was that of continuous rain. On careful examination, there was a total of 36 raindrops. The third picture was that of a downpour. Large amounts of rain gathered together there were a total of 108 raindrops. The fourth was that of a star diagram. One planet had four moons surrounding it. The fifth was that of a galaxy. With twelve planets within, everyone with different amounts of moons. The sixth was Galaxia, with countless planets forming a vast galaxy. Even when Liu Feng was viewing the picture before, he had asked Babata to count them but he too was unable to determine the number of planets, as there were many areas that were distant and faint. They seemed to be filled with planets, yet it was impossible to count the exact number. The seventh picture, seemed like a peculiar beast. The eighth was also similarly to the peculiar beast. The ninth picture was one with countless peculiar beasts, it was impossible to count them. If one said that with these set of one six pictures, Liu Feng could still faintly understand a little and feel the faint origin law paths within the Nine Universe tablet, then the final set of pictures seven to nine, they were extremely abstract. Liu Feng simply felt there were some weird beasts. How could they possibly hold anything with regards to the origin laws, they were simply too abstract. However, 
the 52 primal chaos tablets were still the treasures of the humanity of the universe. By comprehending any one of the tablets, becoming a universe country leader would be simple. As such, countless absolute warriors had regarded the set of pictures 7 to 9 held unbelievable profound mysteries within. It's simply Liu Feng's power was too weak. Hence, he couldn't even feel a hint of its meaning. Dot. Liu Feng had seen the entire nine universe tablet in the picture before, however now when faced with the actual thing. Especially when seeing the first drizzle picture, his consciousness immediately got immersed within. Those nine raindrops began to morph into limitless images within his mind. One had to know that Liu Feng had three bodies, and as all three bodies had consciousness conduits, like the one of an earth human was within the consciousness of the soul. The golden horned beast's conduit was the internal core within. The Moshe clans was within the life crystal. And as the three were one, their consciousness was linked. Hence whatever Liu Feng saw, naturally the other two would see within his internal space. Raw. Within the golden horned beast's eyes, the nine raindrops became extremely sharp claws, a powerful waving tail, even like golden horns shooting out. The Moshe clan clone, who was in the form of a black clothed Liu Feng, wielding a shield and a blade, the internal life core slightly revolved, melding perfectly with the space origin laws. He felt that the nine drops formed blade work which was infused with space laws. As the Moshe clan was favored by space itself, the Moshe clan automatically began to unleash its blade work. And the human being standing right before the nine universe tablet, looking at the nine drops. He could faintly see nine different concepts, almost as though it became nine golden blades that continuously formed and rippled over and over like strong waves. Dot. They were all good at different things, hence the things they saw were different. Yet all these different paths led to one destination. To be able to be called one of the treasures of Primal Chaos City, a treasure of the entire humanity, the Nine Universe Tablet was indeed a mysterious and incredibly profound. The energy and origin laws emanating from it, would automatically suck the viewer into subconsciously study it. As it was incredibly valuable, one would get the chance to study it when one first enters Primal Chaos City. However, one would have to rely on his own comprehension after to perceive the profoundness of these tablets. Resources were limited. A true strong warrior, only he would receive one, two, maybe even three more times. To study them again. Every time lasting seven days. Dot. The thirteen people within the training room were completely immersed, unable to even comprehend the amount of time that passed. Rumble. The huge bronze door rumbled open. The thirteen still immersed within weren't even awoken from that. Come out. A voice resounded within, immediately piercing into all their minds. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. The voice repeatedly resounded within their minds, getting louder as it continued, causing all of them to be startled and awoken. That continuous roar within his mind caused Liu Feng to grab his head unconsciously. Su, 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 the thirteen quickly rushed outside. During the time they passed through the entrance, only then did the repeated roars vanish, and they regained comfort. Has it ended? When Liu Feng walked through the entrance, he turned back reluctantly to give it one last look. However with the chaos energy revolving within, one couldn't see the tablet clearly. Only now did Liu Feng understand why the previous group was reluctant as they left. Chapter 452, Heavenly Bridge. In front of the training room, the ape youth bowed respectfully at the guardian candily and later became a beam of light and left. You twelve wait for a moment. The guardian candily smiled. Liu Feng looked curiously at the old man. The other geniuses were also curious as Candily smiled, this is the first time for you all entering the training room. Let me give you some advice. First go look for the place where you will stay for the next thirty years. Then enter the virtual universe and request to enter the heavenly bridge. 
Enter the heavenly bridge. Luo Feng and the rest were curious. Once you enter the virtual universe network and enter the heavenly bridge, you'll understand. Candy smiled indifferently, you can leave now. The guardian didn't wish to speak any more. Luo Feng and his group could only leave. Leaving the residence, Luo Feng separated from the twelve and began looking for his quarters. The amount of area primal chaos city had was vast. Except for several special constructs, the rest of the buildings were identical, and most of the doors were white, meaning there wasn't anybody living in there. Where should I choose to live for the next thirty years? Luo Feng pondered. I'll choose the center of the city, the quieter buildings. The city leader's residence was the center of the entire city. Surrounding this residence were many buildings, which were mostly empty. Luo Feng very quickly found a more deserted living quarters. Standing before the door, he placed his hand on it. D, D, D. The door made several noises and simultaneously started to turn gray, from white to gray until it finally stopped. Welcome master. An electronic voice resumed it. Luo Feng entered the living quarters. The first level was an extremely huge living room, within it the facilities were incredibly luxurious and advanced. The electronic voice continued, I am a service AI. During your time of stay, I will service you. Whatever you need, for example food, drinks etc. Please feel free to order. Luo Feng followed the stairs upwards and became a beam of light, immediately reaching the balcony on the third floor. On that balcony there were several casual markings left behind by warriors that had trained there before. However they were random and unruly, even though he could faintly feel some of their special energies, however after seeing one of the 52 Primal Chaos tablets, he didn't have much interest in such random messy scribbles. His time in the primal universe was extremely valuable, he couldn't waste any of it on such low efficiency methods. Who? From today on, I'll truly begin my training days within Primal Chaos City. Luo Feng surveyed his surroundings. In the distance he could see warriors training hard on their balconies. Many of them had almost similar appearances, their hairs had grown extra long, almost as though they hadn't moved in many years. I'll first enter the virtual universe network. Dot. Virtual universe, Yuxiang Mountain, Absolute Beginning Region, Villa 1136. Luo Feng appeared within his villa. Your Majesty. A group of staff and waiters bowed. Luo Feng nodded and asked simultaneously. Request to enter Heavenly Bridge. Understood. On his shoulder, the fist sized virtual helper Babatu immediately connected to the virtual universe main system and requested. Very quickly, a sound rang in Liu Feng's mind Identity confirmed, Liu Feng, you've gained eternal access to enter the Heavenly Bridge. We hope you work hard and reach the end of the Heavenly Bridge. Beginning transfer. Shua. Luo Feng immediately vanished from the villa. Dot. Virtual universe, within a special space. This was an endless ocean, the waves flowed one after another. And above the ocean there was one single beautiful island. Beside it were fifty-two ports, and every port had an endless bridge extending out of it, all the way till the end of the horizon. Almost as though it was connecting into the distant horizon. These fifty-two bridges completely covered the entire air above the ocean. Above the ocean, there was even a slight mist, making one unable to see clearly above the ocean. With the mist engulfing everything, it made the bridges look mystical and dreamy. Luo Feng suddenly appeared in a plaza in the center of the island. Luo Feng. Luo Feng, you've come too. There were already nine other youths there. Luo Feng looked. These nine were those that had studied the Nine Universe Tablet together with him. Do you all know, just what this place is? Luo Feng asked curiously. You can ask the Lord Watchman. The Nine pointed not too far away, there stood in the plaza a man dressed in a black star robe. He had four ears, no nose, his entire being seemed friendly as he smiled and walked over, 
How are you, Liu Feng? I am the Heavenly Bridges Watchman Bevan, however I prefer others to call me Watchman. How do you do Lord Watchman? Liu Feng bowed respectfully. Let me introduce you. The Watchman Bevin nodded, this Heavenly Bridge is built specifically for the 52 Primal Chaos Tablets. Over the trillions of years, our universe humanity has had many people studying the 52 Primal Chaos Tablets. Hence within Primal Chaos City, they naturally form 52 sects. The Watchman Bevin exclaimed, For example, you all studied the Nine Universe Tablet. Naturally you will belong to the Nine Universe sect and will be one of their members. However while you've all studied the same tablet, your comprehension levels will be different, and only the strong ones will receive another chance to study the tablet from Primal Chaos City. Liu Feng's eyes gleamed. Another chance to study? After just one study of the Nine Universe tablet, he had already understood his direction and training for quite a while. This level of improvement and growth was very addictive. If he could study the tablet once again, how perfect would that be? How does one prove his strength, that doesn't rely on words? The watchman Bevin smiled, hence we've built this heavenly bridge within the virtual universe. By passing each level and reaching further, would mean one's strength is growing. On this island there are 52 bridges, each for the 52 tablets. You studied the Nine Universe Tablet, hence you will venture into the Nine Universe Heavenly Bridge. This Nine Universe Bridge is incredibly long, each level gets harder, there are a total of 27 levels. If one can pass the first level, he'd receive another chance to study the tablet. Every time one passes a level, he'd receive another chance. The Watchman Bevin smiled as he looked at Liu Feng. Ah! Liu Feng realized. Right. The ape youth they had met at the entrance of the training room before, he had said, I've successfully passed the sixth level, I get another seven days to study. Obviously one would get another chance after passing one level. However, the heavenly bridge is extremely hard to pass. The watchman Bevin exclaimed, for young people such as yourselves, normally you wouldn't even be able to pass the first level. Liu Feng was shocked. The Nine Universe Heavenly Bridge has a total of 27 levels. The further you make, it represents your understanding of the Nine Universe Tablet is getting deeper and stronger. If you fully comprehend the entire tablet, you'd be able to make it past all 27 levels, however dot that's simply too difficult. Even the Undyings normally only make it to level 10. The Watchman Bevin sighed. If you can make it to the 18th level, you'd be an undying that's almost invincible. Making it to level 21.1 can become a universe country leader. What? Liu Feng was shocked. Making it to level 21, one can become a universe country leader. Becoming a universe country leader was incredibly difficult, then one could only imagine how hard it was to make it to level 21. Even becoming undying was incredibly difficult. Hence, making it to level 10 of the tower was already impressive. As for the highest level 27, only those that fully comprehended the entire Nine Universe Primal Chaos tablet could accomplish it. That was too far away. Work hard. The watchman Bevin smiled. This is the path to the pinnacle. There have been many who've walked down the 52 paths in humanity. The moment you pass the 18th level, you'd also receive the right to become an eternal member of Primal Chaos City, you don't need any slots in the name lists or anything else. Ah? Liu Feng's eyes gleamed. Eternal member of Primal Chaos City? However passing 18 levels was simply too difficult. Those that entered before have failed. The Watchman Bevin looked at Liu Feng and the group, next one. Go past the heavenly bridge. I'll go. The nine that arrived there, one after another they became beams of lights that flew towards the nine universe heavenly bridge. After two minutes, the watchman said, another failure, next one. Another failure, next. Failure, next. Dot. All have failed, there's only Yuliuo Feng left. 
At this time, the number of new people trying to pass the bridge was a total of 12, two of which had tried before Liu Feng arrived, and the 11 before him had all failed, leaving only Liu Feng left. This made him feel extreme pressure. Obviously passing the bridge is extremely hard, these were all geniuses, and there were three from the absolute beginning region, yet none of them had even passed the first level. Liu Feng, work hard. The watchman Bevin smiled at him, from this batch, including the close to 900 who've tried before, up to 90% have tried passing the bridge. So many, except for Bolan, no one else has passed the first level. What? Liu Feng was shocked. There were many that had entered the training rooms earlier. Liu Feng had to spend his first day in the tower. Hence he and this batch of youth geniuses could only now go through the trials, this was completely normal. Bolan is very strong, he continuously passed both the first and second levels, receiving two extra chances to study. The watchman Bevin exclaimed, as for the rest, even the other primal region member Long Yun couldn't even pass the first level, none of them did. Stress. Liu Feng felt tremendous pressure. From his batch of geniuses, Bolan, Long Yun, Jia Lei Sai, they had all tried passing the bridge, based on the time they entered the training room. During the time Liu Feng entered his dot, those that had chosen the huge axe tablet, Rong Jun and the manga youth Yuko had yet to enter theirs. Hence, the only remaining geniuses from the absolute beginning that had yet to go through the bridge were Liu Feng, Rong Jun, and Yuka. Go on. The watchman Bevin looked with anticipation at Liu Feng. Su. Liu Feng became a beam of light and immediately headed towards the extremely long heavenly bridge. From afar he could see that the bridge he headed to had the stone tablet with the words Nine Universe on it. Chapter 453, True Yan Emperor. The heavenly bridge extended way beyond the horizon, with a white mist engulfing it, and the ocean below choppy with waves. The moment Liu Feng entered the Nine Universe Bridge, within his mind Babata's voice resounded, Liu Feng, we just received a mail, it's from the Virtual Universe Company. What does it say? Liu Feng asked. It's the points reward system. Babata said. Points? Liu Feng stood on the bridge, excited within. There were many incredibly valuable items within the Virtual Universe Company like the level 5 spirit weapons and sorts were only worth about 10 points, even the life fruits one could exchange for. This level of wealthy exchange was enough to make others speechless. However, one had to have sufficient points to exchange for them. Even with a crazy amount of wealth, within the virtual universe company, they only recognized the point system. Point system exchange, there are many ways to gain more points. Right now in Primal Chaos City, you have one way to gain more points, that's to pass the Heavenly Bridge. Babata said, there's a total of 27 levels in the Nine Universe Bridge. Passing the first level, you'll get 100 points. Passing the second, you'll get 200. Passing the third, you'll get 400 points. They compound as you go further, 800. 1600, 3200. Liu Feng calculated quickly, if one were to pass over 10 levels, 20 levels, the points would be absurd. However, simply passing the 21st level, one would be able to become a universe country leader. This showed how hard obtaining the points truly was. Liu Feng, the mail even says that since you are a new person to Primal Chaos City, to the youth geniuses, the Virtual Universe Company has a special reward system. As long as one passes the levels in their first 30 years of their initial stay, they will get tenfold of their rewards, meaning. In these 30 years, if you pass the first level, your reward is 1000 points, the second level being 2,000 and so on and so forth. This 10 times reward is only for first timers and new people to Primal Chaos City. In the future when you re-enter the city, there'll be no such good thing. Liu Feng nodded. 
Originally the first couple of levels were 100 points and 200. Right now they were 1000 and 2000 instead. This was a special reward for the youths, however as they were youths, many had simply just begun comprehension of the origin laws. As the watchman Bevin had said earlier, of the 1000 geniuses that entered in this batch, close to 900 had tried and other than Bolan, no one had even passed the first level. Wishing to get points? Difficult. I'll give it a shot. Luo Feng looked to the heavenly bridge that extended forever. He finally squinted his eyes and became a beam of light flying forward. Primal Chaos City. Luo Feng and the twelve were considered the later ones to go through the test. Others like Bolan and Jiel Ai Sai, Ai Chen etc., many had already tested earlier on, and they swiftly understood more about Primal Chaos City already. If one wants to become an eternal member of Primal Chaos City, there should be several methods. However the most impressive would be passing the 18th level on the Heavenly Bridge. Anyone who passes the 18th level on the bridge, that would be an invincible being even amongst the undying, and they'd earn the right to open their own subsect within Primal Chaos City. Jiang Mo exclaimed. 52 sects, there are indeed many subsects. Kian Shui nodded. To be able to open a subsect is very impressive. Jiang Mo said, within their own sect, they have extremely high achievements. However to be able to enter these subsects to listen to the strong warriors give lessons, one still has to at least pass the third level. These were the sacred training grounds of the entire humanity. There were 52 great sects, and within each there were many strong warriors with their subsects. And to be able to gain the recognition of the city leader, to have the right to create one's own subsect and be a leader, one has to at least pass the 18th level. These subsect leaders purely gave lessons. The disciples would go listen. One had to pass the third level to gain the right to go listen to the classes. If one couldn't even pass the third level, he didn't have the right to go listen at all. 52 Primal Chaos Tablets, with different levels of profoundness. Jiang Mo exclaimed, of the 52 bridges, some only have 21 levels some have 24 and some have 27, while the highest being 32. These 52 primal chaos tablets, of which only the Hugh Jacks tablet Heavenly Bridge has 32 levels. The levels of the bridge was a definite reflection of the profoundness of the primal chaos tablet. That was because for all the bridges, passing level 21 would mean that person could become a universe country leader. Being more profound doesn't mean it's better. Kian Shui shook her head, to produce a universe country leader is extremely difficult. Even though these 52 tablets have different levels of profoundness, however out of trillions of geniuses hardly anyone ever reaches level 21. If one can't even pass level 21, then the huge axe tablets later levels, what point is there? Right. Jiang Mo nodded. Dot. Within the 52 Primal Chaos Tablets, the Nine Universe Tablet was considered one of the more profound tablets, ranking in the top five. Of course, before becoming a Universe Country Leader, discussing which tablet was more profound had no meaning at all. Just like the Nine Universe's Nine Pictures, especially the last three pictures, Liu Feng couldn't feel anything from them whatsoever. They were simply absurd. He couldn't even feel a trace of their origin laws. Dot. Primal Chaos City, within a certain nine level pagoda. Primal Chaos City was made up of most identical buildings and training quarters, however, several special constructs. Dot represented special areas and status. On the seventh level of the nine level pagoda, a lady dressed in a black cotton dress was sitting cross legged. The bottom half of her body was a huge snake tail, the snake tail coiled around and allowed her to sit cross-legged. Her expression was unclear and hard to discern, only her eyes were bright and resplendent, almost like the stars, like an entire galaxy was within, extremely enticing. You've come. A hoarse voice resounded from the snake-tailed lady. Ha ha. 
a tall and sturdy man, dressed in golden armor, with golden fur on his face, a strong-looking ape man appeared within the pagoda, laughing loudly, Wuni, you are also another sub-sect leader within the Nine Universe sect. No matter what you should open your doors and teach some lessons, give some pointers to the later generations. The snake-tailed lady said hoarsely, True Yan Emperor, right now within the Nine Universe sect, amongst the many sub-sect leaders, you are the strongest. With you teaching the classes, I have no need to do it at all. Ha ha. The strong ape man laughed loudly, we've both trained for a trillion years, burying our heads and simply training is already useless. Occasional inspiration may have some effect. From what I see, don't keep locking yourself within this Nine Universe pagoda, when we first built the Nine Universe Tower, we said we were going to comprehend all nine pictures. That tall and mighty black Miss Tempera, how has she become so low profile? Amongst the undying, they had different statuses. Normal undyings could become generals and lead an army. The strong however unnamed emperors, like True Yan Emperor or Black Miss Tempera, they were considered absolute beings amongst the undying, opening their own subsects and teaching the later generations. Nine Universe Pagoda, its reputation within the city itself was huge, because back then when the Black Miss Tempera built the Nine Universe Tower she said she would enter whichever level with regards to which picture she was studying. Obviously right now she had begun studying the Nine Universe Tablet's seventh picture, hence she stayed within the seventh level of the pagoda. Let's go, from my virtual universe company's newest batch of geniuses, there are twelve that chose the Nine Universe Tablet, let's see if there are any good seedlings. No matter what, I am still the virtual universe company's true Yan Emperor. The ape man laughed. You are from the Virtual Universe Company, I'm from the Hugh Jack Stojo, why should I go with you? The snake-tailed lady muttered. You really aren't giving me any face. The ape man stared. Even though these two had different levels of power, their relationship went deep. Both of them had opened their own subsect in Primal Chaos City, they both studied the Nine Universe Tablet together back then discussing their own comprehension of the origin laws, and this had been going on for 18 eras, while becoming one of the legends within Primal Chaos City. Their many discussions had led to the two breaking through the levels time and again. Let's go. The snake-tailed lady shot a glance at the ape man. Ha ha. The ape man laughed. Dot. Virtual Universe, Heavenly Bridge. Two people appeared in mid-air above the island, the ape-man and the snake-tailed lady. Their willpower and energy pressure that naturally seeped out from the both of them alone made others feel as though they were facing an entire endless space before them. True Yan Emperor, Black Miss Tempera. The watchman Bevan was extremely respectful. How are the results of the test in the Nine Universe sect? The ape-man looked at the watchman. The watchman Bevin replied respectfully, there's a total of 12 for the Nine Universe tablet this time, of which 11 have already ended their trial. Right now the last one is going on, and is probably the one with the most hope of these 12, he's called Liu Feng. The one with the most hope. The ape man's golden fur ruffled a little. The 11 before have all failed, none have been able to pass the first level. The watchman Bevin said. Failure is not the matter. The ape man smiled, some are defeated immediately, some struggle for a while before losing, and some almost won. This also represents their differences in strength. Send me the footage of the previous eleven, in a while, also send me the footage of Liu Feng's battle. Yes. The watchman Bevan immediately picked out the eleven videos. As the watchman, Bevan usually had many matters to attend to things like the footage of the people attempting the heavenly bridge and others. Who? 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 Eleven scenes appeared before the ape-man True Yan Emperor, he watched with interest as the battles simultaneously played. True Yan Emperor rubbed his chin and stroked his golden beard, his mouth twitching. Dot. At the time, 
Liuo Feng had reached the end of the first level of the Nine Universe Bridge. Choose your opponent, you can choose a fighter, spirit reader controller, spirit reader hypnotist, pick anyone, if you win against your opponent, you'll pass the first level. Ahead of Liuo Feng was a huge cloud mist, from it the voice boomed. According to the information Liuo Feng had acquired, he had to defeat his opponent before the mist would dissipate and he would be able to enter the second level. I choose dot controller. Liuo Feng exclaimed. Who? From the mist flew out a black liquid. This black liquid began to condense and gather in midair, forming a mysterious human silhouette with a black mask. This mysterious man stood on a dark cloud shuttle, carrying a dark golden long rod the Nanshan armament. Behind the black mask his cold eyes stared at Liu Feng, and he shouted, Let the battle begin. Chapter 454, The First Level. Defeat him, and you'll be able to proceed to the second level. That cloud mist resounded. How is he so similar to me, using the dark cloud shuttle and the Nanshan armament? Liuo Feng squinted. With a thought, six square-shaped absolute void shields along with the blood shadow blade's golden shadow blade, simultaneously a dark golden long rod behind him immediately shot out a total of fifty-four beams of light. Every nine beams swiftly combined and formed very real golden blades that were one-third of a meter long. The Nanshin Armament Second Level Dot Sky Piercing Formation the main form was to create one true blade, however Liuo Feng immediately produced six of them. One of the reasons was because he had broken through from the star level 9 to the universe level 1, and more importantly, over his three years travel through the universe, his strength had increased shockingly. Kill. The mysterious man roared, the dark cloud shuttle rushed over and he swiftly formed three real golden blades behind him too. The two of them were both controllers. Both rushed towards each other swiftly, one controlling six golden blades while the other three. Over these three years, I haven't relaxed at all. Compared to the genius battle, I'm much stronger than before. I will let you test my powers. Liuo Feng's eyes gleamed with endless fighting spirit. Six golden blades immediately seemed extremely well organized, working about each other and immediately piercing forward. Dang. 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 In midair, the six blades engaged in a frenzied battle against the mysterious person's three blades. What's going on? Liuo Feng was shocked within. Before coming to Primal Chaos City. He was already able to unleash six blades. Controlling these six blades had become comfortable and best for himself as he was used to it. Even after studying the Primal Chaos tablet for seven days, with huge improvements, he still chose to use only six blades as this was his most optimum attack formation. He actually blocked it, I don't believe this. Luo Feng's eyes were cold. Six golden blades almost like six excellent soldiers working together, attacking and pulling back together, very perfect, attacking time and again dot trying time and again to break through the three golden blades to kill the enemy. However, fail, 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 failure over and over. That mysterious person's three blades were controlled in a very special way, almost as though the three weren't separate at all but was one perfect body. The three blades gave off a feeling dot of endless waves rushing towards the enemy. Like an enormous mountain that reached the skies, immovable. How is this possible? Liuo Feng was shocked within, I'm using six blades, he only has three, how can I not have any advantage? Hard work. He tried time and again with different methods to control the six blades with perfect precision. However the opponent stayed floating in midair, easily blocking with the three blades. Stupid, you don't even know something so simple. The mysterious man's eyes through the black mask had a sense of ridicule, and you think you can pass the first level, go and die. Xiu. The three blades the masked man was controlling suddenly changed formation. They suddenly drew closer to each other, 
giving off a three become one feeling, like a huge blade that was insatiable and powerful. Luo Fang was shocked within as he controlled his six blades to block it, rumble. With a huge clash, his six blades were completely knocked away. How? In the distant air, Luo Feng was taken aback. Ha ha, stupid. 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 The mysterious man roared. Against the three rainbows that pierced over, Luo Feng roared fiercely, rise. Rumble. 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 Three more golden blades rose from behind Luo Feng, the six that were knocked away rose back up too. Luo Feng's body glowed in a glaring golden light, it rippled throughout in all directions, and later swiftly condensed itself around the nine blades, the nine blades seemed to form a large formation. With golden threads weaving in and through, the golden energy flowed throughout with the blades within, with Luo Feng as the center of a 300 meters round space, immediately a glaring golden energy world was formed, with countless amounts of energy flowing within that ball of space. It may have seemed slow. In truth, the moment the nine blades rose, they swiftly formed a ball of space. Nanshin Armament's third level, Heavenly Blade Formation. Also known as the Blade Domain. There were a total of nine levels in the Nanshin armament, of which the second level the sky piercing formation was the fusion of nine golden illusionary blades to form one true blade. The third level however required simultaneously producing nine true blades, that's equivalent to 81 golden little blades forming them in total. It was extremely difficult, hundreds of times more so than the second level. Luo Feng was able to successfully unleash this. With his huge improvement over the past three years, and his spirit energy reaching universe level 1. Kai Kai Kai. The three beams of golden rainbows seemed to get lost within that round space, weakened by the countless blade energy, their speeds slowing by quite a bit. I admit you are very strong, however, against absolute strength, you will still lose. Luo Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle and rushed swiftly towards the distant mysterious man. Sword domain, with Luo Feng as the center. Luo Feng rushed, the entire domain swiftly followed him. Break. The mysterious man swiftly dodged and let out a roar. Kai. The three blades he controlled immediately closed in together. Countless golden threads weaved through surrounding these blades and forming a golden huge blade. The dreamy golden huge blade swiftly knocked away the countless blade energy obstructing it and with its dreamy rainbow light, pierced towards Luo Feng. What move is this? Luo Feng was shocked. He trained with the Nanshan armament, studied it, yet he didn't know this move. Heavenly blade. Luo Feng roared. Kai. The nine blades that formed the sword domain immediately became one body and with his spirit reading control, immediately one of the blades was like a hunting leopard, bringing with it the power of the sword domain and immediately pierced towards that golden huge blade. The entire domain with the countless blade energy seemed to have received orders to empower the blade, following it from behind. A golden blade empowered with the sword domain. A huge golden blade formed by the three blades. They clashed. Rumble. The golden blade immediately got knocked back, that golden huge blade was like a large ship smashing its way forward, immediately knocking away his blade and reaching before him. Without any time to dodge, Luo Feng wielded his blade to form a shield. Rumble. Luo Feng used his shield trying to deflect some of the force away. Yet he only felt as though a majestic mountain had crashed into him, causing his entire body to tremor with fresh blood spewing out of his mouth, no wonder even the heavenly blade couldn't stop it, this power is too unbelievable. Following which his consciousness was lost. Dot. When he awoke, he had returned to the virtual universe's Yuxiang mountain, within the absolute beginning region, his own villa. Your Majesty. The waiters and guards bowed. Luo Feng nodded. 
Your Majesty went to try the heavenly bridge, how did it go? The villa head, also the leader of the guards, Sector Lord Aduo Li asked. Failure. Luo Feng shook his head. The heavenly bridge is very hard to pass, failure during the first time is very normal, your majesty needn't fret too much about it. Aduo Li said. Luo Feng seemed very calm on the surface, he returned to his study. Within the study. I lost. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, our batch of 1000, about 900 have been tested, except for bowl and passing the two levels, no one else has made it. Failure. I'm no exception, however the first opponent I met, similarly uses the Nanshin armament, using only three golden blades, he actually broke my heavenly blade formation. Foundation. Luo Feng. I've always said the foundation is very important. You are able to unleash nine golden blades to form the heavenly blade formation, he only used three blades yet he can win. This is the importance of foundation. On his shoulder, the fist-sized Babata shouted. It's not the same, he uses the Nanshin armament in a totally different way. Luo Feng recalled the battle before, be it controlling six blades, or nine dot no matter. They seemed to be single units, like six or nine soldiers working together. The way he controlled it however, he was actually able to amplify their powers, like one true body. Especially that last move. The three blades fused together to form one huge golden blade. Nanshin Armament 3rd Level Heavenly Blade Formation. The Nanshin Armament's 4th Level Great Work with Little Labor. This 4th Level in truth was a great formation of the huge blade becoming one body, with absolute power to crush the enemy. I feel that his move was similar to the fourth level. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, however it's still different from the fourth level, the fourth level is much more complex and stronger than his, and he was merely fusing three blades, however their fusion power was absurd. This is the trial of the Nine Universe Tablet. The first picture of the Nine Universe tablet flashed across Liuo Feng's mind. The raindrop picture, there were a total of nine drops. After seven days of study, he didn't have a lot of comprehension from it. At this time, he recalled the battle scene, thinking of the raindrop picture, he seemed to recall a part of the picture of which three drops seemed to fuse together. Don't tell me. Liuo Feng's eyes glowed brighter. The seven days of study in his mind, began to fuse with his three years of study and experience of the Nanshin armament. The ideas clashed and ignited a huge spark of inspiration within, ideas and thoughts began to form continuously. Excited. Anticipation. I understand, I understand. Luo Feng couldn't help but shout out. I shouldn't blindly follow the blueprints. Liuo Feng couldn't help but laugh out loud, the Nanshin armament was built as a weapon by a strong warrior. Blindly following its most basic ways of usage is too rigid, and too stupid. No wonder he called me stupid, it was indeed very stupid. The raindrop picture, that's the true way to unleash the strongest power from the Nanshin armament. Nine Universe Primal Chaos Tablet. It held within it the true pathway. Even the usage of any weapon, among everything else can be comprehended through this huge pathway, eventually finding the most correct path. Even though he failed this time, however the benefit and thoughts that stirred from it was even better than success. Let's begin. Luo Feng couldn't wait any longer. Chapter 455, Universe Country Leader. Virtual Universe Training Grounds, the most optimum simulation place. As the virtual universe allowed one to customize the most optimized simulation, it being 100% similar to reality was not a surprise at all. Hence compared to actually training in reality, in terms of experience, comprehension, effect etc., they were completely the same. Just like how the cost of using the slaughterhouse was extremely high, countless warriors still go there, and as a commember and having his own training ground, Luo Feng was in no rush to look around in primal chaos cities skies for the origin law energies, 
but immerse himself in comprehending the sparks of inspiration he had about the Nine Universe tablet from before. Your Majesty, His Majesty Yuko is here for a visit. The bold sector Lord Ao Duo Leak shouted. Yuko? Luo Feng left the training grounds, becoming a blur and piercing through ten kilometers of distance, immediately arriving at the entrance of the villa. Luo Feng, Luo Feng, something big has happened. This silver-clothed black-haired youth rushed over. What's up? Luo Feng smiled and asked. It's wrong June the Manka Prince was flushed red with excitement, saying, you probably don't know, yesterday we went to the Heavenly Bridge to test, our batch of thirty were all under the huge axe bridge. However including me, everyone else failed the first level, only wrong June passed. Our batch of one thousand. Only Bolan and Rong Jun passed, Bolan passed two levels and Rong Jun passed one, everybody else failed even the first level. What? Luo Feng was shocked. Rong Jun succeeded? In the genius battle before, he and Rong Jun were pretty close in levels. And during these three years of travel, his three great bodies had been training at a shocking rate. Even though it was not evident on the surface, Luo Feng had concluded that he was enough to be ranked second. However the outcome of the heavenly bridge was still like that. And also, just earlier, Yuka continued, the leader of the Yuan Shen universe country, accepted Rong Jun as his disciple within primal chaos city. Universe country leader? Luo Feng was stunned. Universe country leader, dominating a vast universe country, even within the vast universe, they were considered among the governing level, under them were large amounts of undyings. How can that be? Luo Feng couldn't believe it, even Bolan didn't attract any universe country leaders to come accept him as a disciple. Right, I couldn't believe it either. Yuka shook his head, at the universe country leader level, there's absolutely no need to accept a disciple. They are already absolute beings that haven't fallen for over a trillion years. Beings that oversee a universe country. Even Bolan. His chances of becoming a universe country leader are extremely slim. Hence, geniuses aren't worth the universe country leaders taking in as disciples. However, the Yuan Chen universe country leader really took Rong Jun in. The news I got is definitely accurate. Right now, the 1008 universe country's upper echelons are all receiving the news. This this. Luo Feng couldn't help but lose his composure. Did the heavens drop some treats for him? Death God Bolan, an absolute genius that everyone else from that batch naturally had to respect. Even he didn't attract a universe country leader to personally accept him as a disciple. However Ong Jun got a country leader as a teacher. This still isn't the most shocking thing. Yuka spoke in a hushed voice. I got this news from my father. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. It wasn't simply one universe country leader that wanted to take Rong Jun as a disciple, it was two. Yuka's eyes gleamed, however, you should know that behind the 1008 universe countries lie the five great leviathans. Among these two universe country leaders, one was from the virtual universe company while the other from the huge Jack Stojo. As Rong Jun is a member of the Virtual Universe Company, he finally became a disciple of Yuan Shen Universe Country Leader. What? Two Universe Country Leaders competed for him? Luo Feng was speechless. No matter, Rong Jun is currently stronger than us. Yuka gripped his fist tight, anyway I won't admit defeat so easily. My father once said, these thirty years in Primal Chaos City is our beginning thirty years and the cornerstone of our future endeavors. The training in Primal Chaos City has just started, it's still hard to say who will come out on top. Luo Feng nodded. Not just Rong Jun, but Bolan was the number one target Luo Feng wanted to overcome. How's your study of the Nine Universe tablet? Yuko asked curiously. Still okay, Luo Feng said. I suggest you go to the empty training balconies around to take a look. There are many casual markings left behind by the earlier generations. 
Yuka smiled, with our movement speed, spending ten days to half a month is enough to do a full sweep to find a marking that fits us. After all primal chaos tablets are too profound, and other markings left behind may spark some inspiration. With these ideas sparking and helping each other, it will become easy to understand. That's what my father said. Liu Feng looked shocked at Nuka. His first attempt on the heavenly bridge alone had given him much inspiration, much improvement. This sort of ideas bouncing around was indeed effective. Thanks. Liu Feng said seriously. What thanks? There's only meaning when I compete with a strong person. The stronger the opponent, the faster my improvement. Yuka smiled, I'm leaving, I'm going to look for some markings, knowing that Rong Jun was accepted as a disciple of a universe country leader, I'm currently burning with battle spirit. Following which he vanished. Liu Feng nodded. He couldn't look down on anyone. To be able to rank in the top 10 of 1008 universe country geniuses, no one should be overlooked. He had the Moshe clan, the golden horned beast, could others have other special hidden trump cards behind? I've digested most of my seven days of study. The first raindrop picture of the nine universe, if I want to study it even deeper, a few days isn't going to do it, I too have to go look at some markings. Luo Feng's consciousness immediately left the virtual universe and back to Primal Chaos City, following which he began a large search through the Primal Chaos City grounds. Virtual Universe, Lightning Island Lightning Island was the gathering spot of the undyings within the virtual universe, the gathering spot of the true elites. On the incredibly vast island, with clouds engulfing it, there were lightning snakes slithering about the corners of the island. If one said that the Yuxiang mountain was larger than ordinary planets, then Lightning Island was more than a million Yuxiang mountains. This batch of 1000 geniuses, after going through the heavenly bridge, how are the results? Sitting high in a throne, the green armored purple scaled man's voice resounded down, booming across the incredibly huge shrine. Sir Knight. Below stood what seemed like an iron tower giant. An ape man with golden fur. His golden fur was incredibly glaring, his entire being like a galaxy, glowing and glaring, he respectfully reported, this batch of 1000 geniuses, 998 have all failed their first attempt. Bolan successfully passed two levels and Rong Yong passed one. And watching the footage of their battles, the absolute beginning members seemed to have good performances, like Liu Feng. Ki and Shui, Yuka were all not bad, compared to the genius battles, their improvements are huge. The green armored purple scaled man nodded, only that Rong Jun gave me a shock, everyone else is still normal. Send the footage of Rong Jun's heavenly bridge battle to me. The green armored purple scaled man ordered. Yes sir knight. The ape man respectfully sent over the footage following which a screen floated within the shrine, on it the footage played of which Savage Rong Jun was like a wild war god, brutal and fierce. That huge blade swung with perfection, every slash was incredibly fierce, finally killing the opponent using the same blade. The green armored purple scaled man watched calmly till it ended, slightly creasing his eyebrows, you can leave. Yes. The ape man left respectfully. There was silence within the shrine. The green armored purple scaled man watched the screen, muttering, It's weird, this Rong Jun's battle talents are indeed shocking. Even though his comprehension level isn't too strong, however he's able to unleash such terrifying strength. At such a young age creating his own technique, he is a very powerful genius. However, it still isn't enough for you An Chen or Gilun these two universe country leaders to compete to accept him as their disciple. Yu An Chen, Galun, these two have lived for a long time, much more ancient than I. The green armored man creased his eyebrows, and they reached the night level earlier than I did, maybe they discovered something I haven't from the footage. As an absolute being similar to the Yu An Chen and Galun country leaders, 
9 Blade Knight was very clear that geniuses had no attractiveness to the universe country leaders, what was the point of nurturing a genius? Unless it was nurturing a universe country leader, otherwise it didn't have much benefit to themselves. Even Bolan didn't make anyone fight to accept him. Rong Jun however, had two country leaders compete to accept him. There must be a secret, Yu An Chen, Galun, these two old punks are the country leaders that have lived the longest, they must have discovered something. Nine Blade Knight watched the footage, with his level of being, he had already seen the footage and all its details incredibly clearly, whatever could be discovered would have been discovered already. Why? What's the secret? Nine Blade Knight pondered a while, he could only think deep within. Primal Chaos City, 7th level of the 9 level pagoda. Dressed in golden armor, the ape man True Yan Emperor was discussing with the snake tail lady about the Yuan Chen universe country leader coming to Primal Chaos City and accepting Rong Jun as his disciple. Rong Jun, his battle talents are extremely high. The snake tail lady said hoarsely, his origin law comprehension might be lower, but he's able to explode with terrifying strength. Very exceptional. Among this batch of 1000 geniuses from the virtual universe company, except for Bolan, the next is him. You can't just say that. True Yan Emperor said, of the 12 punks that chose the 9 universe tablet, there's one that isn't beneath Throng Jun, maybe even a stronger genius. You are speaking of Luo Feng. The snake tail lady nodded, true. That punk is only universe level 1 and he's able to unleash the heavenly blade formation. However he doesn't know how to adapt, stuck on the basic formations of the Nanshin armament. However his origin law comprehension is very solid. With such instruction, his battle strength will rise greatly. In terms of origin law comprehension, Bolan is first and Liu Feng is indeed number 2. The ape man True Yan Emperor rubbed his chin, muttering, This Liu Feng is definitely a good seedling in our nine universe sect, I shall give him some hints. What are you doing? The snake tail lady was shocked. What? That Rong Jun even has a universe country leader as a teacher. I'm just throwing some hints out. The ape man shook his head, right now in primal chaos city, within the nine universe sect. I'm considered number one. Those universe country leaders don't even look up to Liu Feng and Bolan. My standards aren't that high, I still respect them. When that Liu Feng passes the third level of the heavenly bridge, he'll earn the right to listen to our classes, and after one hundreds of thousands of years, we may have an absolute undying within our sect. Ha ha. The snake tail lady shook her head and closed her eyes. Looking at the situation, the ape man didn't disturb her any further, immediately vanishing from the tower. Chapter 456, Floating Blood. Within Primal Chaos City, the energies revolved about. Dressed in the armor formed by the cloud contact vine, Luo Feng was standing on a training balcony, looking at the other distant balconies. These past eight days, he had been searching all over the city. There were many empty buildings all about the city that had markings left behind by the countless warriors before on the balconies. It wasn't just Luo Feng who was searching. The Manka Prince Yuka, Long Yun who had entered the primal region, and similarly others from the absolute beginning region Qian Jui, Rong Jun etc., they were all looking for markings. This group of geniuses were very clear. These thirty years in Primal Chaos City was their time to lock in their foundations, and the fastest way to improve wasn't to simply bury their heads in draining. Using a dull axe requires greater work, picking the appropriate route was very important, they didn't need to begin by looking straight at the origin law's movement. Hence, they were all looking for the markings left behind by their earlier generations of warriors. 112 of the markings. I have some interest in. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, which do I choose? The nine pictures of the nine universe tablet was profound and deep. And the markings left behind by others were like detailed studies. 
they were able to let him further understand and study the tablet with greater efficiency. Luo Feng. A clear voice resounded. Luo Feng turned over. A long curly green-haired elegant girl with mysterious green markings on her skin descended onto the balcony, smiling gently, she said, Luo Feng, have you found a marking suitable for you? Not yet, I discovered 112 that are not bad, but I don't know which to choose. Luo Feng shook his head, Kian Jui, have you found anything? Kian Jui, the genius pair of siblings from the Auga Sea planet, both were similarly absolute beginning members. I'm pondering too. With teacher's guidance, I currently have three to choose from. Kian Shui smiled. I won't chat more with you. After my teacher saw your heavenly bridge battle, he said among our batch, your comprehension of the origin laws is comparable to Bolan, stronger than even Rong Jun's comprehension. Ah? Luo Feng creased his eyebrows. All the best, having a lead now doesn't represent you leading in the future as well. These thirty years, will be the greatest change. Kian Shui immediately flew up, I'm leaving. A green image was seen flying through the distant skies, vanishing within the chaos energy flow. Luo Feng frowned. Your batch of one thousand geniuses, many have pretty decent backgrounds, with strong people guiding them from behind. Babata said, it's a pity dot I cannot help you. No problem. Luo Feng smiled, not minding at all. Suddenly, Babata shouted shocked, Luo Feng, you've received a letter, it's from the Virtual Universe Company Internal Department. Ah? Luo Feng was shocked, sending out a part of his consciousness into the Virtual Universe Network. Dot. Virtual Universe Network. Absolute beginning region, Luo Feng's villa. In the study, Luo Feng sat in front of his laptop and opened the mail. Luo Feng. I've seen your footage on the Heavenly Bridge. It's not bad, only your usage of the Nanshin armament is too rigid. The weapon is dead, we are living. How to use the Nanshin armament. Naturally, has many much wider ranges of usage to unleash its full potential. You are currently studying the Nine Universe Tablet I suggest you buy a battle technique floating blood. It only requires 800 points, after buying this technique, head to training balcony 029028981 and take a look, there are markings the left behind by the creator of the floating blood. Amongst those within the Nine Universe sect, this should be the most suitable for you especially for the first three pictures of the Nine Universe Tablet. Work hard, I'm expecting great things from you. True Yan. A simple letter, however since it's from the Virtual Universe Company's internal department, it was anything but ordinary. As he himself was a core member within the company, most people didn't even know their own network ID. Finding another's ID and being able to send a letter via the internal department, this person was obviously a high-ranking person within the Virtual Universe Company. True Yan? Luo Feng sat in the study, before, when he searched, he was only able to see several filtered normal news, other secret files, like the bug clan or automaton race etc., important information, these were all classified to him. However now his position was high, his privileges were much higher too. Understood. Babata said excitedly. The screen on the laptop immediately swiftly changed and large amounts of information appeared. These are all regarding True Yan. Babata shouted. Ah? Luo Feng stared at the screen. There were many news articles and details. He couldn't help but get shocked, the True Yan technique was founded by the True Yan Emperor. Its purchase price within the Virtual Universe Company was actually priced at 800,000 points. My god, teacher's soul imprint, but Barter you estimated it to only be worth about 10,000 points. This True Yan technique is actually that expensive? True Yan Emperor? But Barter was shocked, this True Yan is actually an emperor? What about it? Luo Feng asked curiously. Luo Feng. Babata was extremely agitated, 
you don't know. Among all undyings, in terms of power and position, they have huge differences. Normal undyings can become generals and command a huge army of universe level warriors. Several extremely powerful undyings however, can get the title official from the virtual universe company of the huge axe dojo. Undyings with the title official are considered absolute beings amongst the undying, like your teacher. He could barely get the title with his power. And the pinnacle of undyings, even stronger and more invincible, they get the tile emperors. That's terrifying, and looking at this true Yan Emperor's technique actually reaching 800,000 points, my god, he's definitely one of the undyings amongst countless in the universe closest to the universe country leader. That level of absolute being, this level of being, they are extremely powerful. Babata said excited. Ah? Luo Feng realized within. General Dot Official, Emperor. These three titles, had a definitely reflection of their strength. Babata, back then the enemy that killed my teacher, how strong was he? Luo Feng asked. The excited Babata was stunned for a while, his red eyes dimmed a little, before saying, back then the enemy that killed your teacher was very strong. Your teacher barely had the strength of an official, the enemy was probably the pinnacle of official, almost reaching the level of emperor. Luo Feng was shocked. His teacher, that level of being, was barely an official. His opponent was almost an emperor. No wonder his teacher lost so badly then. That level of warrior, in your Gandwu universe country, he can rank amongst the top three. Babata said solemnly. Liu Feng was shocked, the Gandwu universe country has over 10,000 undyings. In 1,008 universe countries, the number that received the title emperor are extremely few. All the absolute warriors normally don't stay within one universe country. Those able to receive this title are mostly underlings under the five great leviathans or special lone wolves. Babata said softly, every one of them are extremely strong, beings closest to becoming universe country leaders. One technique manual alone is able to sell for 800,000 points. This true Yan emperor, even amongst the emperors, must be at the top. Babata said. I saw a manual of a technique created by a universe country leader before in the treasure trove, it only sold for 1 million points. A technique made by a universe country leader sold for 1 million points. The technique created by the true Yan Emperor sold for 800,000 points. It was clear that the true Yan Emperor was terrifying. Ha ha. Luo Feng laughed, Babata, you even said before about who's big backgrounds etc, I Liu Feng, I don't have any background or big person behind me, yet I'm able to attract others to give me pointers. Ha ha. Within, Liu Feng felt extremely grateful to that mysterious absolute warrior True Yan Emperor. This letter for the True Yan Emperor was but a casual thought. To Liu Feng however, it was a huge push in the right direction in solidifying his basics. Have you found floating blood? Luo Feng asked. Found it. On the screen floating blood appeared with its information. Compared to the vague introductions of True Yan Emperor before, the information on floating blood was a lot more detailed. Obviously the information on True Yan Emperor was extremely secretive. Luo Feng's level of access only allowed him to find the most basic of information. Floating blood. Creator Lian Liuo, is a basic technique in the Nine Universe sect, mainly explaining the first three pictures, and it requires 800 points to exchange. Lian Liuo was number one in an earlier genius competition. When chosen to enter the primal region, he chose the Nine Universe Primal Chaos tablet. After over tens of thousands of years of training, he created the basic technique that was named one of the best floating blood. After becoming undying, he was immediately given the title Blood Clothed Official, he fell in a particular universe secret area expedition. Luo Feng continued to read in detail. The information had more on Lian Luo's life. He was the number one in the genius competition, an absolute genius. 
The moment he became undying he was immediately given the title official. It was a pity he lived less than 100,000 years and he died, he died way too early. It's a pity. Liu Feng shook his head. If he hadn't died too early, his future would have been limitless. Babatu exclaimed and shook his head too. Floating blood was a basic technique, made for those under undying to study, hence it wasn't priced high. However just because it was low in price didn't mean it was lousy. Liu Feng required a basic level technique, and this floating blood was recommended by True Yan Emperor, it was obviously not lousy at all. 800 points, I only lack 800 points. Liu Feng Forster smiled, I regret spending my 10,000 points at one go too easily, it's all gone. Who told you to spend so quickly? Babata muttered. Wasn't it you who instigated it? Liu Feng shot a glare at Babata on his shoulder, forget it, I'll first head over to 02902-8981 balcony to take a look, looking at the marking left behind by the genius Lian Liuo from a trillion years ago. Looking at Lian Liuo's history, Liuo Feng could only sigh at this genius from a trillion years ago. He died too early. Not even living past 100,000 years, Amongst the undying it was definitely considered a very short life. Primal Chaos City Liu Feng immediately became a beam of light and swiftly flew within Primal Chaos City, looking for the training building balcony that Lian Liuo had used back then. Chapter 457, Shocking Liu Feng had gone to look for that training balcony from a long time ago. Within the virtual universe, Yuxiang Mountain's absolute beginning region, Rong Jun's training grounds within his villa. Teacher. Carrying the earth splitting blade, the savage youth Rong Jun bowed respectfully. Ahead of him stood a tall and majestic man in simple training clothes. Looking at this man was like looking at a black hole within space, giving off a natural form of awe and respect. His gaze seemed to pierce through space itself. He was the universe country leader of Yuan Chen, an undying from who knows how long ago, older by tens of thousands of times than even planets and stars, an ancient eternal being. Yuan Chen country leader nodded, I'll now demonstrate to you the first form of the Hu Jack's primal chaos tablet. Rong Jun's eyes gleamed. The country leader waved his hand, a Hu Jack's appeared in his hand. Simultaneously the space around the training grounds warped, changing into a universe space scene. Look closely. The Yuan Chen country leader's eyes were deep and profound, almost like they contained within them the universe space itself. He raised the huge axe in his hands, immediately his entire being seemed like it became a huge axe itself. Just the willpower and energy emitting from the huge axe alone was enough to cause the space around to tremor and seem to almost split open. Who? He waved the axe. The country leader coldly waved the huge axe, immediately the space around seemed to gather and condense like paper, and tearing apart after. Even the stars ahead were completely split apart after which the entire space tremored and the space dissipated, returning to the original state. <clears throat> Rong Jun's eyes stared wide, in his mind recalling the scene over and over again. Raising the axe, condensing his energy to its maximum. Waving the axe, the space gathered and later tore apart like paper. The huge axe tablet is the most profound of the fifty-two. Yuan Chen country leader said coldly, when you've comprehended this first form, and eventually make it past the fourth level of the heavenly bridge, I will then demonstrate the second form for you. Yes, teacher. Rong Jun said respectfully. The country leader nodded and his lips curled, almost like a smile. Following which he vanished. So it's that way, it's like this. After his teacher left, Rong Jun's eyes gleamed. This first form is unleashed this way. Actually, as the country leader was demonstrating, he purposely slowed down his actions, releasing his energy to teach and let Rong Jun feel it thoroughly, allowing him to witness and comprehend to the highest of his ability. 
adoptive father. Just watch, watch this barbarian reach the beak. Rong Jun muttered softly, following which he began to study the first form. As the first form of the huge axe tablet, it was indeed profound and mysterious, if he could completely comprehend this first form, he would be able to easily defeat that absolute genius Bolan. After all Bolan only managed to finish the second level. Outside Primal Chaos City. So this is the Primal Chaos City's third treasure. Carrying a blood blade. The white-robed youth Bolan stood outside the entrance of Primal Chaos, looking at the huge stone tablet with the words introducing the third treasure. His cold eyes gleamed with excitement, Teacher, you told me to look for you once I reached the undying level, I will get to the undying level with the greatest speed, I definitely will. Bolan. Out of tens of millions of years of genius battles, he was able to be number one throughout. Even though he had heard that some universe country leader had accepted Rong Jun as his disciple, he never thought of anyone else as an opponent. There was no opponent within, hence he was invincible. His opponent was himself. Faster, faster, faster. Reach the undying level faster become an absolute being amongst the undying, become an official. Emperor. Bolan muttered, as he had high confidence and aspirations, his improvement and comprehension of the space origin laws constantly rose greatly. His comprehension was extremely strong, naturally his comprehension of the other elements linked within space were strong as well. Actually, he was completely able to study gold, wood, water, fire, and earth as these five were all very compatible with space. However, he chose wind. As wind, thunder, light, these were more compatible with time. His ambition was great, even more terrifying than the time sector lord. However in terms of talent dot he was far more talented than the time sector lord Liuo, he had the capability. Dot. Rong Jun had the Yuan Shen universe country leader as his teacher. His own battle abilities and talent were also extremely strong. Bolan, had never once thought of him as an opponent, his opponent was himself. The other geniuses, like the hypnotist Jia Lei Sai, Mu Ka, Ai Chen, Jiang Mo, Long Yan etc., they all had their own backgrounds and strengths. To be able to make it to this level, no one would admit defeat easily. They were all still aiming to make it into the absolute beginning region, the primal region. Like Long Yun. A primal region genius, now that he's been pushed aside by Rong Jun, how could he take it? Dot. The chaos energy revolved within. Luo Feng walked along the alleys, looking at the training place ahead. On this wall there was a line of words. Nine universe sect, any wall with such words of the sect on them represented that the area belonged to that sect and was a public area, not for private use. After all other than the 52 primal chaos tablets, there were many other markings within the city that were exceptional, hence these all became public training areas, anyone could come view them. Of the 112 Luo Feng had picked before, 103 of them were public training areas. Floating Bloods found Alian Liuo, he stayed here during his time. The 112 I chose before didn't include this place. Liuo Feng sighed within. There was no way around it, Primal Chaos City was too huge. The training spaces were too huge. Just eight short days of searching around, there was no way to search in full detail every marking in each space, he could only make quick decisions. Entering the training area. Quickly following up the stairs up to the balcony, the balcony with a width and length of 100 meters had messy random scribbles all over, simultaneously there were several special words all over. This was the training space of the genius Lian Liuo. Liuo Feng frowned curiously, True Yan Emperor was talking about this. Shua. Liuo Feng jumped down from the balcony, landing at the entrance. He looked at the number and it was indeed, 02902891. The number is right, it's this one. Luo Fen jumped and returned to the balcony. The markings on this balcony? 
Luo Feng carefully examined it. All the buildings of Primal Chaos City used almost the same kind of stone, this stone in the Primal Universe, they didn't decay even after trillions of years. It was mysterious, even after trillions of years, the markings were still extremely clear. Blade meanings? Luo Feng looked at the messy scribbles all over, squatting down, he carefully examined the bodies of them. The seemingly casual markings indeed had many similarities in the Nine Universe Tablet. They do have a similar feeling compared to the Nine Universe Tablet. However they are just bits and pieces, not forming a whole picture, what's the use? But true Yan Emperor told me to come here. Luo Feng swept his gaze over the area, suddenly spotting several special peculiar words at the side. Babata, translate for me. What's the meaning? Luo Feng thought within. No problem. Babata swiftly translated. The screen on his shoulder immediately filled with some words, I, Lian Luo, while comprehending the Nine Universe Tablet, have experienced over three thousand years of study. Finally I've created the Floating Blood Secret Manual. Ha ha, once the Floating Blood is completed. The first three pictures no longer hold any mystery for me, everything became incredibly clear to me. These first three pictures are mostly comprehending the foundation of the Nine Universe Primal Chaos Tablet. My basics are incredibly solid, even if others can compare, even if they are studying the fourth picture, their comprehension of the space origin law may not even match up to mine. The fourth, fifth and sixth pictures and how to train them. I've already got full confidence, I'll definitely become an undying, gaining the title Emperor. A few lines of words, a total of 108 words. However after translating to Mandarin, the word counted several differences. So confident? Luo Feng was shocked, these words were infused with exciting and strong confidence. Even after a trillion years of difference, Luo Feng could almost see the distant ancient, an absolute genius after completing the floating blood, he was absolutely confident about his future, leaving behind such words. Indeed, his improvement was indeed shockingly fast. After becoming an undying, he was immediately given the title official. Until the point he fell dot his lifespan hadn't even reached 100,000 years. If he lived just a bit longer, becoming an emperor was really no problem. Luo Feng nodded within, his improvement speed was no lousier than Bolan's. Dot. Standing on the balcony, Luo Feng thought for a while. Luo Feng. Babata shouted, this Lian Luo was speaking right, the first three pictures are the foundation of the Nine Universe Tablet. This floating blood was worshipped as the best basic technique by True Yan Emperor. For him to be able to create this technique. Obviously his comprehension of the first three pictures had already reached the pinnacle level. The stronger one's basics are, the stronger he'll become later. Just like how when you attempted the first level on the heavenly bridge, your opponent only used three golden blades, yet he's still stronger than you using nine blades and unleashing the heavenly blade formation. Luo Feng had known all about the importance of the basics from early on. To be able to build a tall skyscraper, the foundation was the beginning, the stronger it was, the higher it would be able to go. The basics of Lian Luo, obviously had reached the pinnacle level of his basics. Luo Feng thought hard as he looked at those lines. Quietly looking. What are you looking at? Are you listening? Babata shouted unsatisfied. Don't make noise. Luo Feng's expression was serious. His eyes gleamed, staring at the 108 peculiar words that he didn't understand at all. True Yan Emperor asked me to come here, it should have been to look at these 108 words. Ah? Babata was shocked. I didn't notice before, however after looking for a while, I can feel it. Luo Feng stared hard at the words, these 108 words, every word has a different feeling behind them. However the 108 words together form a complete picture, 
anyone who doesn't pay close attention to each word wouldn't discover the different feeling and energy behind each words. The three pictures of the Nine Universe tablet flashed past Luo Feng's mind. The third picture, was the downpour picture, there were a total of 108 drops. Terrifying. It's too terrifying. Luo Feng's gaze was filled with a hard to suppress gleam of excitement, he actually put all of the feelings within the downpour picture, all expressed through these 108 words. Even though he still couldn't see it clearly, however on careful examination he discovered it. Compared to the raindrop picture, this was more complex, each word was like a blade slash began to form within. The information before had explained that the floating blood was a technique to use a blade. Right, every word here is a blade form, 108 blade forms, completely explaining the basics of the Nine Universe tablet. Luo Feng finally understood, just how terrifying the genius Lian Luo back then was. He didn't have time to be surprised. Luo Feng was already completely immersed within the 108 words comparing his mental thoughts of the Nine Universe tablet before with this. He worked hard to find the 108 blade forms within. Chapter 458. The Third Treasure of Primal Chaos City. There are a total of nine pictures in the Nine Universe tablet. The first raindrop picture has nine drops, every two drops have different meanings behind them. As Liuo Feng was immersed in the 108 words, he constantly compared his mental notes of the words to the tablet, these 108 words, there are 9 words that resound with the raindrop picture. These 9 word, just like the 9 drops, Luo Feng could feel that their meanings were seemingly identical. These 9 words had complex strokes, causing him to feel 9 blade forms. Profound. As Luo Feng studied the 9 words more. He felt it get more and more profound. Every blade form was a texture of the universe space itself. Every blade form, seemed to explain a certain essence of the universe space itself. Dot. Even though its surface meaning resounded between the nine words and the nine drop picture, deducing and comprehending had a huge difference, even people who didn't understand English, looking at two similar letters in different words one could still discern them. However to actually learn the entire language was tens of thousands of times harder than simply identifying letters. Luo Feng was like this currently. As Luo Feng stood on this balcony, immersed in these words, within that tryst space, but Bata was bored and sighed, madness, what space origin laws are there within, even the teacher before, when he became an undying. He didn't study the essence of universe space that deeply. This Lian Luo, is indeed a number one of the genius battle from a trillion years ago, geniuses indeed, they do things at another level. Comprehending the space law, it needn't be that complex. Just like how many people on earth learn the computer, they learn how to use the program word. They only learn the usage methods, simply using was enough. However Lian Luo back then actually explained the essence of the universe space, even using 108 words to express it. Just like learning the word program, this Lian Luo didn't simply learn how to use it, but explain the entire program and how it worked, explaining how the program was written. Explaining the essence. Comprehending the universe origin law was the same dot those still in the midst of comprehending comprehending allowed the warriors to understand how to get better and to realize what was right. Hence, borrowing the feeling from these principles, allowed them to unleash their attacks infused with the laws, hence the power increases drastically. However those feelings, they were regarded as mysterious. If people questioned, they had no way to actually explain. They could only exclaim, you can only experience you can't pass on simply through words. Wrong. It was bullshit that it couldn't be passed by word. It wasn't that it couldn't be passed by word, only that many strong warriors and even undying hadn't fully comprehended clearly the essence, naturally they said it was unclear. Just like the Moshe Clan, it blends with space itself, 
Maybe their battle strength was intrepid and a blur, however in terms of comprehending the space laws themselves, the Moshaw clan was similar to the Earth human body. True Yan Emperor is indeed a being close to the universe country leader, making Liu Fengkum study the essence of space itself, it is indeed a very precise path. Babata was very clear, because he had witnessed the master of the Yunmo planet Hu Yan Bo's entire training process. The initial period was fast. However, the further back he went, the harder it got, the further he went the more he felt the space origin laws got more and more profound, harder to see it clearly. If from the beginning, he had studied the essence of the universe space laws itself, slowly studying, the start may have been slower. However towards the end, the improvement speed would be faster and faster. Babatu exclaimed softly, no wonder, even though the boss used a trillion years, he barely had the strength of an official. And this Lian Liuo, didn't even take one hundred thousand years, yet the moment he became undying he was immediately given the title official. Difference. Dot. When I unleash my movement, with a move I'm able to produce over twenty images. However as to why I'm able to produce these images, I don't fully understand. Liuo Feng studied for a while, beginning to feel his mental state grow weary as he immersed himself in the study, he couldn't help but exclaim, at least now I understand a little. Only a little. However just understanding that little bit made him shocked. Babata, how long have I been studying? Liuo Feng asked. A little more than eighteen days Babata replied. Over half a month and I only understood a little bit of the first form. Liuo Feng was shocked within. This comprehension of the origin laws, when compared to studying the essence itself, obviously had a different level of difficulty. At my current speed, how long would it take me to study the first form? It's a pity I don't have the floating blood manual. These 108 words were after all just words. The floating blood manual was the true training method left behind by Lian Liuo. If he had the manual, Liuo Feng was confident that the studying process would definitely be much faster. Just 800 points. Liuo Feng gritted his teeth. Liuo Feng, just passing the first heavenly bridge, wouldn't that give you 1000 points? I know. Liuo Feng shook his head. However my current self doesn't have enough guarantee to pass the first level. These few days, at least the previous study session of the Nine Universe Tablet he had almost fully digested. His understanding of the space law was deeper now, and if he unleashed the Sky Heavenly Formation, its power would be much greater. He may win, but he didn't have full confidence. If only I can fully comprehend the first form. Nine Golden Blades with this first feeling as the link, can form one complete perfect form. Its power would definitely be absurd Liuo Feng's first study, he finally began to understand what benefits that first form was going to add to him. Liuo Feng looked into the distant primal chaos city. After training for so long, my mental state is weary. I'll head outside the city to take a look. Previously, the black-robed receiver said there were three treasures. This third treasure had a stone tablet outside explaining. Liuo Feng knew himself that at his current state, he couldn't continue studying. Hence he headed directly to the entrance of the city, just what was this third treasure? The first treasure was the primal universe's obvious revolving origin laws. The second was the 52 primal chaos tablets. The third, just what was it? Primal chaos city within an ancient mansion that was extremely huge. Go out. The ape man waved his hand. Yes, teacher. About ten undyings below, sector lords, they all bowed respectfully and left the mansion. That Liuo Feng actually didn't buy the floating blood manual. True Yan Emperor sat in the chair frowning, simultaneously part of his consciousness communicated with his AI, he's a member of the absolute beginning region. He should have been awarded 10,000 points. What? He used it all right at the beginning? From his AI, he found out that Liuo Feng had used all of his 10,000 points, 
True Yan was speechless. He actually, actually bought Illusion a Remanual? True Yan Emperor shook his head, his current strength, definitely has no need to buy the Illusionary Manual. He should buy a more basic technique, what suitable is the most apt. This little punk actually used all his points straight away, that's really, really? True Yan Emperor frowned, how troublesome. Lian Luo that sick genius, back then he still took a few tens of thousands of years to explain the 108 forms. This explanation of the origin law essence is, is much harder than simply comprehending, especially since it tests one's intelligence, temperament, and also his level of comprehension. Unless one is an absolute genius, it's hard to study it. From the beginning, one would begin to comprehend the essence of the space origin law, and in the future, his achievements would be high. This point, from the absolute beings within the 1008 universe countries, who didn't know. However even after knowing, this method still wasn't spread wide. Mainly because the requirements on one's temperament, intelligence, space comprehension, these were extremely and absurdly high. One first had to have a high comprehension of space, if one couldn't even feel the space laws, how could he study deeper? As a for intelligence and temperament, one had to maintain his state and calmness while studying, the moment one gets fickle and impatient, one would lose a lot of the work he's done. Temperament was very important, just thinking about it one would know. And this level of comprehending the universe space origins, comprehension was even more important. Walking this path, to many strong warriors would only waste away long periods of time, that Lian Luo, number one in the genius battle, also required tens of thousands of years. Someone with lesser talent and intelligence, like Jiang Mo, Ai Chen and Yuka that level, one would require millions of years. And those other normal geniuses would waste away their entire sector lord 1000 eras and not succeed. Even though these 30 years in primal chaos city are very important to him. However, making him feel some loss, wasting a few years is fine. True Yan Emperor shook his head, let him remember for the long term, understand that some valuable items and stuff shouldn't be used completely before understanding their full uses for the future. True Yan Emperor didn't think more about it. Even though he was paying attention to Luo Feng, it was mostly only due to him picking the same path and sect. Just hinting him slightly was enough. That all. He wasn't involved enough to help or do anything for him Liu Feng currently wasn't worth him doing anything. Primal Chaos City, with walls that went on forever. The doors opened and several warriors left or entered, Liu Feng too followed the door and headed out. Where's the stone tablet? Liu Feng stood at the entrance, looking at the continuous walls that extended forever, engulfed in the chaos energy. Suddenly he spotted on the left there was an incredibly huge stone tablet. On it were scribbles of universe language words, at the top wrote the third treasure of Primal Chaos City. Primal Chaos Spirit? Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. The contents of the stone tablet was roughly. Primal Chaos Spirit, when a universe is in its primal state, the primal universe will naturally produce peculiar beings. These beings have peculiar appearances, they are currently called primal chaos beasts. These beasts have different levels of strength, they are all proficient in different origin laws, some more so than others. Killing the primal chaos beasts, their bodies will decay into large amounts of chaos energy and a dark green light will be produced. This dark green light is where their core lies, they don't have souls, only a life light. This light has been named as Primal Chaos Spirit. As long as one absorbs this Primal Chaos Spirit into their bodies, one's soul will naturally absorb it and with absorption, their soul will slightly change, melding better with the universe space. Luo Feng. A voice caused Luo Feng to turn before he finished reading the entire tablet. The distant savage Rong Jun descended from midair, immediately landing on the ground and walking barefooted to Luo Feng, smiling, ha ha, I haven't seen you around these past days. 
Are you getting ready to head out to hunt the primal chaos beasts? However you have to be careful, just from hunting these primal chaos beasts, we've already lost a few from our batch. Chapter 459, Primal Chaos Spirit What? Luo Feng was shocked, you said we've lost a bunch from our batch. Rong Jun shook his head, when I first found out, my reaction was similar to yours. However after heading outside and hunting the primal chaos beasts, I didn't find it weird anymore. Also, do you remember? When we first took the universe ship and came over to the primal universe, that night also said those words. Luo Feng recalled the scene and nodded, I remember. Back then the green armored purple scaled man had sent the 1000 geniuses here, saying, you are all under me. I hope to see all of you alive in 30 years. When he had first heard it, Luo Feng had guessed dot there would be some dangers within Primal Chaos City, however when he had studied within the city for a while, he felt it was very safe. The feeling was simply a sacred land for warriors to study and train. The city forbids any humans killing each other. Anyone who kills another, would face certain death. Even if he just made a move and didn't kill Dot he would face severe punishment. And even looking at the large amounts of warriors training on the balconies, feeling the ancient energies revolving, there wasn't any sense of danger. It's very dangerous. Rong Jun emphasized, don't get careless, those beasts aren't easy to deal with, of the 1000 geniuses that came this time, they were all awarded by the virtual universe company with gold prizes, and the lowest amount was 10 mixed elements, their points were enough to exchange for valuable things too, who doesn't have trump cards. Luo Feng frowned and nodded, things weren't looking good. The geniuses were all not easy to deal with, yet they had already lost a few of them, the primal chaos spirits were good things, yet they weren't easy to acquire. The most important thing is they have numbers, even if you bring a powerful weapon, an advanced universe ship, however if you are careless and get surrounded, you'll be killed instantly. Rong Jun emphasized, I'll warn you, be more prudent and careful, this is reality, not the virtual universe network. The moment you die, it's over. Luo Feng held his breath. Watching Rong Jun leave, Luo Feng was startled and shaken by Rong Jun's earlier words, he turned to continue reading the stone tablet. Dot. The more the soul melts with the universe, then comprehending the universe origin laws will get clearer and easier. When a sector lord becomes undying, that's when the soul itself undergoes change. And absorbing the primal chaos spirit is a slow gradual change, the scope of change is small, an undying soul is already eternal. Absorbing the chaos spirit is ineffective, these spirits only have an effect on those below the undying level. Important note 1, undyings are forbidden from making a move on the beasts. 2, the primal chaos beasts have low intelligence, they've already been separated by the strong warriors in primal chaos city into three regions, the first region, is the closest to the city, about 2000 kilometers area away from the city walls. They are all universe level primal chaos beasts, this has been called the internal region. The second region is from the 2000 km mark to the 10,000 km area, this is the middle region, there the beasts are all domain lord level. The third region is the outermost region, there the beasts are sector lord level. Primal chaos beasts, their strengths are from the universe level to the sector lord level. The moment there are any undying level beasts, Primal Chaos City will send out strong warriors to eliminate them. 3. Domain Lord level warriors can only kill beasts within the middle region, they are forbidden from entering the internal region. Sector Lords are only allowed to hunt in the outer region, they are forbidden from entering the internal and middle region. Finishing the details of the tablet, Luo Feng was silent. Damn. It's obviously for nurturing the later generation. Babata shouted, these primal chaos beasts have already been separated into three regions. With primal chaos city's strength, 
they can easily kill all the beasts immediately, however they did an apostrophe t dot and bred them. And the domain lords can only hunt in the middle region, sector lords outer region, obviously the internal region is left for you all. Liu Feng nodded. Primal Chaos City was the sacred land of humanity in the universe. Here, almost everything was arranged to train the generations of warriors, allowing humanity to evolve and strengthen. Allowing the youths to risk dangers and hunt the beasts, obviously this was for training the later generations. Staying safe would mean there would be limits in growth, even though Primal Chaos City's 30 years was rather safe. Having some sense of danger was a good thing, it was good for nurturing the young. Primal Chaos Beasts Luo Feng's thoughts moved and a dark red armor extended and formed a helmet, covering his entire body in the cloud contact vine armor, revealing only his eyes. Let's take a look, just what it's about. Dressed in the dark red armor, Luo Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle and carried the dark golden long rod on his back. The chaos energy revolved about, making it impossible for one to see too far with the naked eye. In the vast wasteland, weeds were growing everywhere, this wasteland that had been here for who knows how long, even the nameless weeds and plants, along with the rubble, they were all made up of special properties, nurtured in the chaos energy over long periods of time, they all had the same special point. No matter how long, they would never decay. Luo Feng carefully moved forward. Sha. His ears moved, immediately lowering himself and hiding behind a stone, carefully looking ahead. In the distant weeds, a black silhouette walked out, this was a three meters tall ape like being, his body bent, his hands landing on the ground, except for white fur on his face, there was only one vertical brown eye and a mouth, no nose or ears, its tail waved high and moved about. What's its strength? Luo Feng communicated to Babata mentally. No idea, there's no such primal chaos beast in the real universe, hence the energies it is emitting. I'm unable to gauge just what level of strength it's at. Babata said. Ah. Luo Feng nodded. The ape like beast that was running in the distance, its tail high in the sky like lightning rod suddenly stopped violently turning to look in Liu Feng's direction, that single eye seemed enraged and filled with killing intent, rumble. The tail violently swayed, the beast immediately became a beam of light heading towards Liu Feng, its huge palms grabbing at him. Go! Liu Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle, as he retreated, he controlled with his thoughts. Xiu! 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 Xiu, Xiu, Xiu. Nine golden lights shot out from behind him, simultaneously six of them shot towards the approaching beast. Howl. The ape-like beast waved its tail again, creating an image and actually dodging three of the golden blades. Dang. 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 Three clashes, with a wave of its claws, it knocked away three of Liu Feng's golden blades. As the blades were knocked away. Heavenly blade formation. Luo Feng frowned. Immediately the surroundings golden energy rippled together, the nine blades floated and formed a blade domain, compared to the one on the heavenly bridge before, the blade domain now was obviously more organized and tighter, at least it didn't have blade energy dispersed in all directions anymore, right now it was more condensed and controlled. With the glaring golden rainbow. One of the golden blades pierced forward bringing with it the countless condensed blade energy and the domain behind it, piercing towards the beast. Howl. The beast let out a struggled howl and its furry tail waved as he accelerated to flee, as though he felt a terrifying force was attacking him, however how could his running speed match up to the Nanshin armaments attack? Rumble. The beast that couldn't flee in time used both hands to clash with the blade rainbow. With a huge clash, the beast's thick arms were smashed open, golden blood spewed out, blood and bone flew in all directions, and the golden blade rainbow immediately pierced right through its head. Rumble. This ape-like beast immediately fell on the floor, simultaneously, 
its golden blood and flesh etc. began to decay quickly, becoming chaos energy, a dark green light floated up from the corpse. Primal Chaos Spirit Luo Feng's eyes gleamed, using some spirit energy to wrap around and retrieve the light. Kai. When his spirit energy touched the spirit, the spirit began to meld with his spirit energy. Spirit energy is mental energy, and the spirit is large amounts of this formed together, it isn't strange that spirit energy is able to absorb the primal chaos spirit. Luo Feng took the remaining spirit and absorbed it into his internal core, none of his three bodies were the true core. The internal core was the true center. Rumble. The surrounding energies violently tremored. Howl. Howl. Bent bodies appeared one after another, their faces with white fur and that single eye, similar to the primal chaos beast before, they jumped out from the weeds as fast as lightning, with one glance, there were at least a few hundred of them, some of their energies dot some were obviously even stronger than the one earlier. Not good. Luo Feng didn't even think about fighting back. Su. A silver white pyramid automaton ship appeared in midair, however the primal chaos beasts were simply too fast. Who? Who? A dark red vine extended around Liuo Feng's surface, tens of thick vines fiercely extended towards the large group of beasts rushing over, rumble. The tall and huge leader of the group was whipped by the vines, he spit out fresh blood but was still alive. Dot. Luo Feng rushed into the automaton ship and shut the cabin door. Rumble. Outside the group of beasts were madly attacking the walls of the ship, however this was an E-grade automaton ship, it wasn't something these beasts that were at most universe level 9 could deal with. I understand now, how a group of geniuses, all of them having ships, with large amounts of wealth, able to acquire powerful laser weapons, gatling guns, how they could still die. Luo Feng let out a sigh of relief, if it wasn't for the automaton ship, with the cloud contact vine he may have still gotten away, but it would have been difficult. Hunting the primal chaos beasts, yes, hunting. Just like hunters, quietly, killing in an instant, absorbing the spirit, and immediately distancing oneself from the scene. Luo Feng thought, when it let out its howl to attract its companions earlier, I shouldn't have fought on, but fleed immediately. In the air above Primal Chaos City, a silver white pyramid automaton ship appeared in midair, following which the ship vanished and Liuo Feng descended into the city from above. However, no one seemed to care about this scene at all. In the Black Dragon Mountain Star Field, the automaton ship was rare and extremely valuable. However to those in Primal Chaos City, the sacred land of training for the entire humanity in the universe, the Undyings here, most of them had wealth beyond that of Hu Yanbo. An automaton ship dot was simply too common. Chapter 460, Time Flowing Like Water Luo Feng landed on his own balcony. Primal Chaos Spirit Luo Feng frowned, clearly feeling the core within. Within that core. Luo Feng's soul essence had formed a whirlpool galaxy, revolving slowly, the glaring and dreamy whirlpool had a total of eight spiral arms, back when he first reached the universe level one, this whirlpool galaxy had one little black domain dot a tiny black hole. And now, the golden horned beast had already reached universe level nine, naturally the core of his soul also reached universe level nine. The soul essence which had reached universe level 9. The whirlpool galaxy now had a large black hole, and each of the eight spiral arms had their own little black hole, they all gradually swallowed the stardust around. In the center of the black hole were eight many black holes. The formation of these nine black holes represented the universe level 9, and for the universe level 9 to break through to the domain lord level. It required the nine black holes to completely swallow the galaxy within, creating an absolute change. Universe level to domain lord level. This change was very difficult. Kai Kai. A dark green light landed within the whirlpool and was swiftly dragged in, immediately swallowed by the center black hole. 
in the outer regions of the Whirlpool galaxy where it couldn't reach, mist engulfed the areas, engulfing the entire galaxy, a little change happened within the galaxy too. Dot. There's change. Liu Feng closed his eyes, his mind calm as still water, feeling the origin laws ripple within. In terms of ripples. The golden horned beast felt the ripples of the gold origin laws more clearly. The Moshe clan felt the space origin laws more clearly. The earth body, felt both ripples, both were blurry to him, as though there was a heavy mist surrounding them. At this time. Improvement, there's improvement. Liu Feng revealed a look of excitement. Within that internal space where the vast golden continent was. Just like a black mountain, the golden horned beast raised its head and let out a happy howl, beside. The black clothed Liuo Feng that had produced almost 1000 images also stopped and shouted excitedly, They've all improved. Yes. The three bodies all felt the origin law ripples a little clearer now. The golden horned beast could feel the gold laws clearer, mainly because its horn, neck, body, wings, tail, claws, were all covered in golden engravings. These engravings resounded with the universe itself and the gold origin laws, hence the golden horned beast naturally fit the golden origin laws better. One theory. The Moshe clan body, with the 10,081 surfaced crystal with golden engravings rippling, communicating with the universe space laws, even resonating with space itself, it not only improved its comprehension of the space laws, even when it unleashed it its power was much greater. The three bodies had one soul core. The soul core was undergoing change now, naturally all three bodies improved simultaneously. The soul core within was undergoing change, just like the earth body's consciousness and spirit, the Moshe clan's life crystal changed too. The core soul, was something all three shared, it was also the core of the three bodies. The moment it evolved, all three would improve. If the core was unharmed, even if any of the three bodies was destroyed, it could be rebuilt, and even if all three were destroyed, as long as the core was fine, it could still keep producing the three bodies endlessly, this was one of its natural abilities, however it had its pros and cons. The moment the core was destroyed, even if all three bodies were trillions of Li apart, they would all die simultaneously. This was Liu Feng's life gate. Good stuff, it actually evolved my spirit, indeed the third treasure of primal chaos city. Liu Feng's eyes gleamed, from the student level to the sector lord level, the soul constantly gets stronger, its essence itself doesn't evolve. Only from sector lord level to undying will there be an absolute evolution. Right now, Using this primal chaos spirit, one can actually preempt that evolution. Even though the amount of evolution itself isn't big, however with more quantity, the benefits are still huge. Liu Feng was incredibly excited. In terms of battle strength, his earth body was the weakest, the golden horned beast and the Moshe clan bodies were the true killers. Obviously, this soul evolution had great benefits to those two. Come on. Primal Chaos Beasts. Liu Feng's eyes blazed with fire. Such a treasure, if he didn't get more of it, it would be such a waste. Liu Feng once again walked out of Primal Chaos City and into the wasteland engulfed in chaos energy. The chaos energy covers everything here, all the scanning and signal devices are all affected, otherwise I could rely on Babata's scanning system. Liu Feng thought. If one could scan his surroundings. So many geniuses wouldn't have died, these scanning devices, I wonder if they don't work because we are in the primal universe, or because the management of primal chaos city willed it this way. Liu Feng was suspicious, but he didn't think much about it. No matter, he had to rely on himself to kill the beasts. Dot. Five minutes later, half squatting in the grass patch carefully staring at a distant beast. This was an extremely huge primal chaos beast, with a body of about 30 meters long, like a hill slowly moving, its skin on its head was shiny, almost like an alloy, 
also there were two curved horns on its head, its eyes completely white, only the center had pupils the size of little green beans. Its gaze was ice cold, its thick strong hoofs slowly stomping on the ground, the ears erect, obviously on alert and ready. From its aura, it shouldn't be stronger than that first ape beast I first met. Luo Feng squatted in the grass patch, his gaze cold, heavenly blade formation. Form behind, the dark golden long rod immediately shot out 81 beams of golden light, every nine of them swiftly combining together and forming one Kai long golden blades. The nine golden blades swiftly rose up and the rippling golden energy immediately formed the blade domain. Rumble. The golden rainbow shot towards that huge primal chaos beast's head. Howl. The beast fiercely turned its head and immediately let out an enraged roar, quickly lowering its head to use its sharpest point on its body, its horns to clash with the golden rainbow. Kai. The golden blade infused with absolute power from the blade domain arced a little and brushed the horns, immediately piercing through the head of the beast. That alloy-like head portion was extremely solid, with Kai Kai sounds coming from the blade. The golden blade finally barely managed to pierce in, and with another Kai sound, pierced out from between its eyes. Rumble, the huge beast crumbled onto the ground, following which the dark green spirit rose up and its body swiftly decayed into large amounts of chaos energy. Xu Luo Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle, using his spirit energy to wrap around the primal chaos spirit and vanished far away. Several seconds later, rumble. About ten huge primal chaos beasts, all like thunder itself, causing the land to tremor, came running over. However, in these few seconds, Liu Feng had already fled a few hundred km away. A few hundred km away, hiding behind some rubble, feeling the comfortable feeling of his soul core absorbing the primal chaos spirit. Liu Feng smiled. Very good. I'll hunt the beast like that. I'll at most attack a couple of times and whether I succeed or not, I'll immediately flee. And fighting against these beasts allows me to test my comprehension levels too. Dot. It began. The period of hunting the primal chaos beasts had begun, as he hunted, Liuo Feng realized that even though the stone tablet had said that this internal region's beasts were all universe level, in truth. Over 60% of them were universe level 1, the rest were universe level 2 to 9, all proficient in several origin laws. The only weakness was dot their low intelligence. Just like several of Earth's animals that hadn't evolved, simpler traps alone were enough to make them fall in. Dot. During the hunting process, he occasionally bumped into universe level 9 beasts. Luckily the cloud contact vine was universe level 9, effects of the long periods of usage of the swelling water fruit, otherwise he would have been in much more danger. Dot. After three months since his hunting began, two golden blades fusing, so it's this way. While unleashing the blade domain, Luo Feng finally succeeded in fusing one blade behind another, golden threads weaving through the both of them forming a dreamy huge golden blade, this blurry huge golden blade, with the power of the blade domain had terrifying power. Immediately killed one primal chaos beast. Universal. Link. That one body feeling. Luo Feng remembered that mysterious feeling, he couldn't explain it clearly, naturally he understood. Dot the reason he couldn't explain it was simply because he hadn't fully grasped the essence of the universe space law itself. He was studying the floating blood 108 words first blade form, and he only got a little bit of it. Even though he had yet to fully grasp it, at least he could use it now. I'll first unleash it, as for understanding the essence, I'll take it slowly. Luo Feng was incredibly excited, I can now fuse two blades together, these two blades, with the help of the blade domain. I should be able to beat the heavenly bridge level 1's three blades fusing right? Even though the enemy fused three blades together, he didn't use a blade domain. No rush. My power may still not be enough, 
hence he didn't use the blade domain. Luo Feng wasn't rushed at all. The thirty years in Primal Chaos City was for him to work on his basics, there was no need to rush, being grounded was the best. Dot. Eight months later. Three blades into one. Luo Feng who was constantly testing himself against the Primal Chaos Beasts, as to how to use his comprehension of the origin laws and transfer it into the Nan Shin armament, he was understanding it clearer after time, and now he could control that mystical feeling before and combine three blades perfectly, forming a terrifying power. Virtual Universe, Heavenly Bridge. On the island, dressed in a black star robe. The watchman Bevin looked shocked at the white-robed blood-blade youth. Third level. Bevin looked shocked at the youth before him, when the batch of 1000 geniuses had first arrived, this Bolan had already cleared two levels at one go. This was already extremely rare within the history of Primal Chaos City, it hadn't even been a year and now he's returned. Bolan nodded. Go on, I wish you success. The watchman Bevin smiled. Sue. The white-robed youth Bolan immediately headed towards the side of the island, heading to an endless bridge, of which two words on a stone tablet was shown there. Universe. The fifty-two primal chaos tablets reflected the fifty-two bridges, of which the huge axe bridge had thirty-two levels, the highest, and the universe heavenly bridge had thirty levels, rank number two. As for the Nine Universe, it has 27 levels, also amongst the highest, enough to rank in the top 5. The lowest bridge had 21 levels. In terms of level numbers, it didn't mean much, as long as one could pass 21 levels, he could already become a powerful universe country leader. Luo Feng's group of geniuses, will there be one capable of becoming a universe country leader? Su. Bolan rushed towards the bridge. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel. Audio novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you.